guys, it's your girl Ashlyn and today is a casual Thursday so it's actually raining outside. It is so dark and my boyfriend is currently on a fishing trip so I'm really hoping he doesn't get like struck by lightning out there because it is just going crazy outside. But today in about 30 minutes I actually have a video call with one of my lung transplant doctors which is kind of crazy because I have not like talked to one of my doctors in about a year. Everything is communicated like online or like through my nurse. So I think it's gonna be kind of good to talk to like an actual doctor and like get some like answers to my questions. So if you didn't know, uh, basically my donor specific antibodies are still high and it's not where they want them to be. I don't have any symptoms so that is like the great thing but they still want them down they are stable they're not moving but I just got done with IVIG so they're hoping that moved them down but unfortunately they did not and in fact it just kind of hurt my kidneys I've been like drinking tons of water trying to make my kidneys happy but I haven't had no luck it's kind of been going down but just not not like I need so they're thinking about putting me on this other medicine to help my kidneys and to help my DSA levels, but it's kind of a commitment and I live uh, six hours away from my lung transplant clinic, so I really dread driving like there and like every week or every couple of days because that's what it takes to kind of get this medication until it goes monthly and I don't think you can do this medication like with home health or do it at your house like I did with IVIG so that's kind of the downside so I have lots of questions for my doctor such as like you know would a bronch show you guys more like what you need to know if these DSAs are harmful or not or well, I have to go in the hospital for a couple of days to start the medication because that's usually what they do. I did that with the IVIG, but you know, I don't. I hope I don't have to go to the hospital. But yeah, it's gonna be nice just to like talk to one of my doctors. So that is the game plan today. And then after that, my sister is gonna come over, my mom's gonna come over, and we are gonna go do some little shopping, maybe some thrifting, and just kind of run around town. So it should be a good day. So yeah, it is stormy, cloudy, and I have like 20, 30 minutes to go hop on this call, so I probably should go check in. But there's a little update for you guys, so yeah, welcome to this vlog. Okay guys, so yes, it is the next day. I pretty much just woke up from a nap, and I'm playing with Lexi. Say hi, Lexi. Hey, you haven't seen her in a while, guys. As you can see, she is huge. Come here, baby. Show them how big you are. She's my big old girl. <laughs> okay, go play. So, yesterday... <laughs> We're gonna have to do this the whole time. Okay. Maybe if I just, like, ignore her and sit here and talk. Oh, yeah, that's totally gonna work. But, like I said yesterday, ow, stop it. I'm gonna go close the door. Okay, so let's talk about yesterday. It ended up being so exhausting because I did the phone call with my doctor and it went good, you know. He's so supportive and thinking really long term because even though like, nothing's like wrong with me at this moment. They're just trying to preserve my kidneys and just be really proactive. But we got a little bit confused with the whole like medication he wants to put me on, which is a brand new medication. And what kind of stinks about it is I cannot, it's not like a pill and I can't do it at home. It's not like the IV I do where they came to my house and I got an IV and they do it at home. So I have to go to an infusion center. And so we've been trying to find one like near my little town that I'm in. And so far we've had no luck. Um, so yeah, the insurance is kind of being a pain in the butt, etc., cetera, et cetera. But we got really confused on just like the purpose of this new medicine because I thought it was gonna be like IVIG where it targets the DSAs, but it is completely not. It is immune suppressant. 
so it's actually going to replace one of my main medicines that is really hard on my kidneys so what they're trying to do is help my kidneys out so I can continue the IVIG in the future so hopefully like it goes well because it's a huge change I'm coming down like on one of my immunosuppressant meds and it's like a major medicine so it's pretty scary because it's just like I said it's a big change and then it's six weeks after I started this new medicine I'm gonna go in and do a lung biopsy and a bronch so yeah that those always make me super nervous because they're considered like a procedure and so yeah I'll definitely be vlogging that and hopefully it'll be like an outpatient thing where I'll just like go get that done and be out of there so yeah that is the hope but yeah it's been a chill day me and my boyfriend went uh, fishing this morning and we've just been chilling that's why I'm just like in a t-shirt and then my sister invited us over for dinner and to watch the bachelor finale so we may go do that I don't know yet I'm really depends if he'll go watch The Bachelor with me because he hates like watching that show and it's two hours long and he's a guy so I don't really blame him but yeah we're gonna figure out our plans or I'm just gonna cook dinner here and watch The Bachelor by myself so that is game film oh did you hear that pop I just like popped weirdly also this is kind of a side note but we're thinking about buying a camper and I've talked a bit about this before in my previous videos but you know with COVID and everything we want to still like travel but like not get a hotel and everything so I don't know we're looking at campers so we shall see okay guys so it is now dinner time and we decided to eat here so we decided that we are going to have breakfast for dinner because we haven't done that in such a long time but then my boyfriend he wanted chicken and waffles so it turned out I made what fried chicken Fried chicken was like, but I didn't like, I don't know, I didn't, I had a wing it, and that's not a pun. So yeah, I made fried chicken, french fries, and biscuits for him, and I feel like I pretty much made like Popeyes. So yes, I made homemade Popeyes, and then I made that, and I completely cooked his meal first. So here is his plate. I literally like recorded his plate and then like decided like what I should eat because I didn't want that so I was trying to decide if I wanted stir fry or if I wanted breakfast. I went with breakfast because I had a majority of the stuff out. So yeah, it is dinner time. I got my bacon in front of me. I am satisfied. I love me some bacon. There we go. Okay guys, so it is the end of the night. I just finished brushing out my hair and I felt like I've had like three different hairstyles today. I had like a ponytail and then I had like it in a clip and now it's just down. So I'm sorry if that was confusing. But yeah, I just brushed it out and now I'm about to take my makeup off. But I thought I would kind of wind down and do a little recap for you guys. So first off, thank you so much for watching today's video. I know this was kind of like just a casual video giving you kind of like a health update and something I want you guys to know like from my channel is even though like I do have health issues and I have cystic fibrosis like and a lung transplant that is not all my life and I want to show you guys that you can manage it successfully and still do other things I do live a normal life even though medications and you know my medicine regimen is very important and my lifestyle it does not control my life so yeah more videos to come just on my life but yeah today was a lot because it was just catching up on you know this new medicine and it's just it's overwhelming so now the process begins of just trying to find a place near me that will do the infusion and hopefully you know my insurance covers it that's always a pain in the butt so yeah fingers crossed and i have a really busy september coming up just lots of like trips planned and stuff and i'm going to talk more about that like in the upcoming videos i'm so excited but we have lots of trips coming up so i kind of told my nurse i was like if at all possible i would really like to get like this at least rolling because i think you have to do it like twice a week for like two weeks which is a lot especially if i'm having to drive somewhere so i really want to get this medication going 
so yeah before september is the goal so we shall see so far no luck but like i said it's only day two of actually trying to get it to like you know come about and getting approved by insurance so yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching this video and yeah more videos to come not all health based it's going to be fun it's going to be adventurous it's going to be my life so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna go cook some popcorn and then probably watch a movie or something so yeah i'll see you guys soon and i'm so it feels so good just to be black it just feels so good to be back vlogging by the way it just feels like i don't know it's just nice it's like a little my heart feels very comfy so yeah guys i'll see you guys soon Hi!